Okay, welcome. We are scouting Argentina uh, based on uh, Game V Brazil in November 2010. What we hope to do is to look at some of the main points um, that we can focus on that will prompt uh, possibly further investigation from a coaching team, uh, manager or otherwise. So um, if we start off, previous game formation. So we're looking at the formation from the previous game. Okay, You can see Brazil over on this side, lined up on here as a 4-3-3. Argentina over on this side, kind of a modified 4-2-3-1. Lone attacker in front. Okay, we'll go straight into some of the weaknesses that we noticed that we observed uh, very quickly, um, and it was one of the pairings uh, the centre back, Nicolas Pereja. Okay, a couple of diagrams here that we'll first uh, have a look at are uh, his passing, his distribution, a lot of sideways passing, okay, and we can see the arrows in red are the long balls that are unsuccessful, okay. Other than the passing, he's the lowest pass receiver, which indicates to us players are not as comfortable passing the ball to himself, would rather pass to his teammate, who's then one of the main outlets for distribution to the midfield. Uh, Paul on ball distribution, under pressure, that ball's going to be kicked up the pitch, allowing us a bit of time and boycotting the midfield, which is where the base, uh, how their game is based, midfield intricate passing. Highest foul frequency. We can see here whether it's pressure, whether it's tracking back, being in a bad position, and these are all dangerous free kick areas for the likes of some of our players. So um, if we can attack and move the ball towards this player, we have a much higher chance of creating something. Pressure is what we want to apply on this particular player. We want to be aiming some of our um, balls towards him. If you see there, there's an example of his pull on ball under a bit of pressure. Here, he has option on his right, passes it straight to one of our players. So, two examples of what we're talking about. Directly attacking this player uh, as opposed to the other centre-back um, and applying as much pressure as we possibly can, not allowing him the time to think about what he's doing and to uh, release the ball. For training suggestions, we're looking at a small pitch, high intensity play, and uh, pressuring opponents, not giving them time on the ball and cutting off options to other, uh, more able, in terms of small passing and distribution into the midfield. Okay, so as we know, Javier Sinati, uh, to find an attacking fullback, as we know, quality fullback, getting forward, but also he leaves space behind. Very tap minded. Also, with Argentina, very narrow. So you can explore them areas in and behind. And as I said before, previously, leaving for air, nice and exposed, making him the last man in for the challenge and exploiting them gaps. So when Zanetti goes up, what we can do is exploit the gaps, get into the areas, and target them spaces. Also, because we know Zanetti hasn't got that much particular end product, we can invite him to go forward into the areas and try to encourage predictable play and make him marry. Uh, as I said before, put Pereira under pressure to make the challenges, as you see in the video. Um, so prayer and space equals an opportunity to attack. Uh, training suggestions would be forward runs without the ball um, and counter-attacking movements. So whether that's four and four situation or two and two, uh, it will benefit us for the next game. Uh, however, bear in mind, Zanetti is a strong attacker. Okay? Uh, his delivery may not be specifically decent, but he's a strong attacker and he will get forward and he has been known to, on this game, to cut in and shoot. Uh, 
Okay, also another problem, maybe Javier Mascherano. What he does sits just in front of the defence, possibly even centre back, and it's a short passing sequence to Benega. As you can see, here, he's got plenty of time on the ball in the video. But the positive thing is, everyone's marked up. If we can force a predictor play, we can force through defence, we can have this all day. So over the top, goes out of play. Everyone's marked up, make it predictable, make a force play, and not get into the triangle sequences between Beniga, uh, Pastore, and Messi. Also, as you can see in the chart, Mascherano, the amount of time he has on the ball, is far more significant to the amount of time that a team has on the ball in an average scenario. So, if we can close down Mascherano nice and early, then the effect we can have on him, also another player. So, if he passes to another player, even if, it, even if it's an accurate pass, uh, another player might be out of position because he hasn't got enough time to recover and get in position to create the angle. Um, so, plenty of pressure, plenty of uh, uh, application on the ball to try and reduce the tempo and also be aware of gamesmanship. Mascherano was the most foul player in the game. So make sure no gamesmanship and plenty of clean tackles. Uh, as you can see here, just as I mentioned previously, the attacking triangle. This is illustrated by the three players here, Benega, Messi and Pastore. Okay, so Messi tends to take the right hand side of the channel where there's imbalances, that's why Zanetti comes around the outside. Okay? And then you've got the story just in front on behind the Queen. And Beniga, who links in with Mascherano in the passing process. So, like I said before, you start Mascherano, then you can follow on to break down the triangle or even prevent the triangle. So in this scenario, the table illustrates Pastore and Beniga. Link with Messi of the most passes between each other, forcing a triangle. Okay, it's short, intricate passing, nice and quick, and it's mainly down in central areas. Okay, so try and encourage the player in the wings, because as we know, Di Maria has hardly got any crosses in, and when the crosses were getting in, they weren't very such of an end product. Okay? <coughs> So just following on from um, trying to encourage um, Argentina to play down the wings as the lack of crosses show, um, Messi's position is on the right hand side, however he does later cut in um, and this is illustrated in the lack of crosses down the right hand side which is only three. Um, just a quick mention on Higuain, the striker for Argentina. Um, out of the whole Argentinian team, he was the one who received the least number of passes. Um, this indicates that he's basically uses a reference for the three attackers behind the striker to use, and only becomes um, only becomes significant when the ball's in the box, which wasn't very often. So obviously, Lionel Messi, key player for Argentina. But well, how are we gonna? overcome him. Um, this figure here shows that Messi actually does not receive the ball on the outside of the pitch. He actually is always on the inside, um, as these arrows show. So if you just go on the clip, it's a quick example. Look. So as a coach, you can maybe say to the full backs, not to show the play on the outside of the pitch, the, the inside one show on the outside to so rather get crosses in rather than getting balls into Messi because Messi is hanging around the penalty area and we'll do things from there. So why, why did he lose the last match? If he just won the clip, let's take a few step by step. So lost possession in the middle of the pitch. Santos, our left back, has exposed himself high up the pitch. Poor runs. We've got a large gap between the defence and the field. Danny Alvarez, Santos have pushed up. And as we can see, we've exposed our centre halves. However, at this stage, both our centre halves are allowed with each other, which is excellent. However, if you want to clip forward, and as a striker moves across, our centre half follows the run instead of standing on line with 
that when you read, that creates a gap for Messi to run into in order to take the shot. If the defender had stayed on line with David Luiz, no space would have been created and the tackle would have been made. And to end with, just an edited formation from, the, from, from before the match. Um, from our back line, we have pushed forward in order to be identified that we need to um, create less space between the midfield and the defence um, using the Ilias pushing deeper in order to make it more congested in this field and as we've identified before with Mascherano um, the, an idea that um, Ronaldinho can sit back when we haven't got the ball and monitor Mascherano and, um, and stop his distribution.